The storm raged outside Blackwood Manor, each gust a mournful cry against the ancient stone. Inside, firelight danced on the tear-streaked face of Celia. Tonight, she'd confront Charles about the spectral woman lurking the halls of the manor. Charles entered, rain clinging to his coat like a shroud. Relief turned to ice in Celia's veins. Charles, she choked out. The woman, who is she? He paled. Woman? Celia, I don't know what you're talking about. She clutched a silver locket, found hidden in his study. It held a portrait, the woman. The same woman who appeared like mist in the halls, a chilling echo of Celia. Give me that. Charles lunged for the locket, his desperation roar. A deafening crack of thunder nearly drowned out the thud from the library. Charles sprinted towards the sound, leaving Celia trembling. Fists clenched tight, she followed. The library door creaked open. On the floor lay a wisp of a woman, shimmering like embers. In its hand, the locket lay open, reflecting not a woman, but a chilling emptiness. Celia's scream tore through the air as realization lanced through her. The spectral woman glared, her expression triumphant. There had been no human woman. Charles wasn't meeting another, he was being haunted. And the locket, a conduit, was meant for Celia all along. A spectral twin, a vengeful spirit bound to the manor, had used Charles to get close. Now, with the locket clutched by its ethereal hand, the real game was about to begin.